Hi, my name is Fatima Gould with a message of hope to help you get over the wall of life. Today, I am declaring that we all can get over these walls. And what we need to get over these walls is hope. That's why my motto is, there is hope for anyone at any time and at any age. Every week, I will be presenting a new word with the intention of creating a world filled with possibilities. I will use these words as acronyms to give a new perspective on life so that we can see what can be accomplished when we look at a familiar thing from a different perspective. Every month, there will be a new theme of words that tie into creating a world filled with hope. This month's theme is overcoming anxiety and shame. I will break down the words shame, hope, doubt, and clarity. Today's conversation is about my motto. There is hope for anyone at any time and at any age. So when we look at hope, hope is a feeling, an expectation of a desire of a certain thing to happen. I'm hoping to get a job. I'm hoping to be in a relationship. I'm hoping to have some kids. I'm hoping that people will click on the button below, like, comment, and subscribe to the Messages of Hope YouTube channel. And then when we look at that acronym of hope, I wanted to use words that really resonate with people. So the H is help, making it easier for someone to do something by offering one's service or resources. We want to, inside of giving people hope, we want to help people. We want to come with acts of kindness. We want to offer our services. We want to offer an exchange so that people can be lit up and be in possibility of what they want to create in life, whether it's a business, whether you are selling something, whether you want to promote yourself as an author, speaker, or a coach. You want to be out there to help people. And I've always wanted to help people. I was a help desk analyst. And when I walked away from that to become an entrepreneur, I wanted to see how can I repurpose that? How can I repurpose my service from working for somebody to now becoming an entrepreneur to helping others? And that's where I became a coach. So we always want to help inside of hope. We always want to offer help. We want to turn that helplessness, that help hopelessness into hopefulness by helping other people. That is such a good word. And then the O inside of helping and hope, hopefulness is looking for opportunities, a set of circumstances that make it possible to do something. We're always being open. Another O could be open. We're open to opportunities, open to opportunities to help, open for opportunities to provide hope. Can you imagine if we lived in a world where we are open open to opportunities, open to purpose, open to help. And that's why I said, okay, I just used the word, a P word, purpose. That's why I said, okay, another word that we could use to break down the P is purpose. And purpose is the reason for doing something so that creates something into existence. What is my purpose? What is the purpose of my existence? Why am I here? What am I hoping to leave as a legacy when I'm gone? And that is walking in my purpose. And that is giving people hope. That's why the YouTube channel. So I want everybody to remember, click on the button below, like, subscribe, and comment, and give hope out there to the world. Let this thing go viral because we are about helping and providing service for people. And then how do we want to do it? We want to do it with the E. We want to do it with excellence the quality of being outstanding and extremely magnificently good. That's what hope is to me. Hope is helping, hope is an opportunity, hope is purpose and hope is doing it with excellence, with amazing grace, so good. This is such a good word for the time that we are in and to helping other people 
get over anxiety and shame, get over anxiety by providing hope. Get over shame by providing a space of hopefulness. And that's why I wanted to come on and break down the word hope this week. So we want to remember hope is a feeling of an expectation and the desire for a certain thing to happen. Right? Because when we're looking at the season, we're in the season of change. We're in a season of change. And we do need hope to get over those walls. We do need to fill this world with possibilities. And we can do that through hope. We can do that to helping other people. We can do that by providing opportunities. We can do that by being the P, walking in our purpose. We can do that with the E, excellence. So I want to thank you today for joining me on a message of hope to break down that word hope. And what does it mean to you and I to leave a world filled with hope. So I want you to have a super fantabulous day and thank you for joining me. And until next time, I'm meeting you again. Bye now.